Hey everyone, it's Angel with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a twin flame reading. So this is going to be on Divine Masculines. This is going to be how he is feeling at this present time, what he may be going through, how he feels towards his Divine Feminine and this connection, what healing may need to be done at this present time, as well as future energies. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I will list all the decks that I'm using in the description box below, but I will go ahead and let you guys know as I'm using them what decks they are, and I'm going to shuffle as I go as well. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so for how the Divine Masculine is currently feeling, like where he is at in his current, just his current energy, I'm using the Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards by John Holland. Where is the Divine Masculine currently at in his energy? Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles energy, we have the Emperor's energy, and we have the Lover's energy. Very interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these guys here, which is the Power Archangel Tarot cards by Doran Virtue and Radley Valentine, just to kind of see what the energies are surrounding these cards. Okay, this is what I have, and I'm just going to go ahead and connect the dots with both of these cards that came up like this. So, Six of Pentacles energy, material and spiritual prosperity. It is in the, um, in the upright position, so it's definitely more positive to me. If it was reversed, it would mean that we're just not able to give properly or give back to a situation. We might not feel very prosperous. What I'm getting here, though, is that the Divine Masculine, and remember, this is in general. This isn't towards the Divine Feminine just yet, but she could be in his energy field, which I do feel like she's showing up here. Okay material and spiritual prosperity this is about the divine masculine is really looking ahead towards the future and he's feeling quite prosperous so he is definitely um in like a material upswing right now off obviously spiritual as well so there could be spiritual and material growth at this present time he may be you know giving to his career or giving to his spiritual awakening at this present time and what i'm getting is that the universe is giving back he's in the flow we have him as the knight of ariel which is the knight of pentacles and i'm going to read it trustworthy understanding devoted funny there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind that's beautiful so this is the thing we definitely have this energy here from the divine masculine that's um, in the material for sure because that's what both of these cards are they're both pentacles energy just completely different decks um but yes this is very somebody who's very methodical they're going to go through and they're going to do things they want to do it right they don't want to rush into anything so they could be you know slowly building something up in the material world and spiritually as well and other tarot decks it's not usually a spiritual aspect but in this deck it is so I've, i can't discount that because that's what it says spiritual so i'm just getting that overall the divine masculine may be in a really positive energy when it comes to his material and spiritual life this too could also be an energy that is around him as in a kind person that's watching over them this could be a mentor this could be somebody who is helping guide them in the right direction spiritually or within their career or just materially whatever that is it's very positive now what we have is the emperor's energy so the emperor is ruled by Aries, I believe. So we could be dealing with an Aries divine masculine, possibly, or just if you're an Aries watching, this could be a special message for you. But it does not have to be. I just like to throw those signs out there. So with the authority position here, the authority is somebody who is gaining some sort of control. They are, they are sitting in their throne. They are in complete control of their lives. They're, they're giving orders. They're in that authority position now. So this is somebody who is rising to the occasion. So this is the divine masculine again, his energy. So we see things are going quite well here for him. Maybe he has been promoted. Maybe there is something that is really going well for him. We can already see it with these two cards over here. But do you see that beautiful golden line around him? It's like he just has this calmness about him 
him as well but we also have this very serious energy that's coming through too which is like he's got his arms crossed he may be cro he may be closed off to emotion at this present time because he's so focused on work you know i would normally say that but i do feel like there is something here but i do see a block okay nine of aerial again this is somebody who really is working on their career we've had it now three different times and we have this very earth-like energy here okay so yeah that's definitely something that's coming up and i'm going to read this your dreams are fulfilled hard work leads to great success a love for the beautiful things in life so what i'm getting is that the divine masculine wants more he wants to create more beautiful things for himself he wants to possibly purchase a home if he does not have a home at this present time or do something you know maybe he wants to have put something towards retirement whatever that is he wants to be in control complete and total control when it comes to his financial empire and situation but he's still working on that that's why that card is reversed he's still working on it he still doesn't feel like he has gotten there yet is what i'm getting it's slow energy with that knight of ariel knight of pentacles i'm devoted to my path i'm devoted i'm feeling good about it the opportunities are there things are finally starting to pay off but he may just be really going into this energy of now it's the, the hard work is here i'm gonna do it i'm up to the task which is what i'm getting now we do have the lovers card here now in this particular deck this is about partnership this is not about choices for me not in this deck so harmony with another person a feminine person a romantic interest but what i'm getting here is we've got the star so a dream comes true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation i'm getting a few different messages for this okay so the first message that i'm getting is that if your divine masculine is in a karmic relationship i'm getting that he is starting to see that this is not meant for him that this is not the dream that he thought it was going to be he's starting to see the dream fade of what he thought things once were with this person they're now coming to a close but we do have the end of a difficult situation he may be having difficulty getting out of this connection now for others this is your energy okay this is your energy now this is a spiritual connection a twin flame connection with that star there it's a cosmic connection but we're not having we don't have a lot of faith at this present time it could be because we have a lot of energy there maybe we don't feel like we're good enough whatever the situation is but what i'm getting here is that he may not have a lot of belief and faith that maybe there's something that has happened between you and him maybe there was something that he did that was just not on the up and up and he may have fear that he's lost his chance or he blew his chance in some way and so maybe if he were, were to return to you you wouldn't have him there could be that or there could be that i'm not sure how this will work i just feel so so you know unfit or whatever the situation is i don't feel secure i don't feel like i have all my ducks in a row so i just don't see how this relationship can work at this present time so i just don't have faith that i can actually put the energy that this this connection deserves at this present time so i'm just getting that the divine masculine is choosing because we have more practical earth energy coming up here this is very practical and logical energy with the emperor and all of these are earth this is practical energy not emotional wishy-washy energy this is somebody who is choosing logic and practicality over this connection at this present time so they may feel the spiritual connection with you but they know that it deserves more they know that it deserves more dedication this actual relationship and he is choosing to dedicate his time and energy towards himself at this present time so i'm not getting this as you should take this personally i'm getting that this is just where this divine masculine is currently at at this present time so we can't have a lot of faith and hope in this connection because he knows that he does not have the time or the energy to put properly towards this connection that's just what i'm seeing here okay so this is how he is viewing and how he feels towards his divine feminine and their connection so this could be current this could be how he has felt in the past at any point this is just any energy coming from the divine masculine i don't care if it's present or past it's just in him somewhere 
Because the thing is, is that it's really positive, and then obviously we just saw these messages that don't reflect somebody who's putting a lot of energy into something so amazing. That could be why. That's how he feels deep down inside, but his logical self is pulling him away from that. So how does he feel towards his divine feminine? Okay, so we have the five of wands in reverse. Okay, so this is actually really positive because this just means that we are not feeling so uh, stressed out. Now, this could, one of the reasons could be because he is choosing or maybe he has pulled himself away from you. That could be it. So he doesn't want to put you on the defense. He no longer, lo well, no longer wants to be on the defense. So he may have pulled away from you is what I'm getting there. And we have the star coming up in reverse for a second time definitely something that needs to be healed for sure there is some kind of renewal and it's just not right now is what the divine masculine is feeling towards this connection and we have refusing to see in the reverse position now this is the two of swords and the two of swords for me could be an indication that the divine masculine is starting to kind of clear this up in his head he may not be figuring something out, but he is not super closed off to it either. I'm just getting that the Divine Masculine has shifted his energy towards something more calm. That's what I'm getting here. It's like he's choosing not to focus on this connection. Not that he feels negative towards it. It's just that he's choosing not to focus on it. That's what I'm getting from spirit, okay? That is what I'm getting. We could also be dealing with an Aquarius too with that star card. I forgot to mention that earlier. Or you're an Aquarius, one of the two. Okay, so this is the romance angels. This is romantically. How is he feeling towards you and this connection on a romantic level? Okay, so what I'm getting here, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So what I am getting here is that this is either connected to something that he did to you or this is something about his own past so he either knows that you need to forgive him for something that he has done and he's not quite sure if you can or you will or this is something about his own family unit or origin issues as in he needs to forgive something that happened to him from the past and he needs to learn the lesson and release this and heal it because it is about the past. This is also, this could be something where he is holding himself accountable at this present time. He is trying to forgive himself on the way that he maybe acted in a situation or treated you. And so this is really hard for him as well. Okay, so it's like, why would somebody disconnect from us if they cared that much? You know, why people do things, we'll never know. But there's just definitely a block there. We have give your relationship a chance. I'm getting from this for this divine masculine. Again, this is what I said earlier. This is this is a temporary thing. This divine masculine does not think that this is over for good. Like he feels deep down or even hopes deep down inside that there will be a chance for the two of you later on. It just might not be right now because there's certain things that he wants to accomplish right now. And you may be taking this very personally. We have calling in your soulmate. So this says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I normally don't read these reverse, but it did come up reverse. And so I'm going to actually leave it there. Because I believe that your prayers and affirmations, he is not putting the energy towards this connection. So he doesn't want to call you in yet is what I'm getting. He does not want to call this relationship in because he knows that he is not able to dedicate the proper amount of time that it deserve that you or it deserves. So he's not going to do this to you either again or just at all. He may have gone down this road with you before and disappointed you before. He doesn't want to do it again is what I'm getting. Okay? So he's just really trying to do things differently this time. And unfortunately, he may be coming across as he doesn't care or that he's cold. Okay, so what are some of the, let's see, what are some of the things that are blocking the Divine Masculine? What are some things that need to be healed at this present time? This right here is the Chakra Mindset cards.
And this right here is the Heal Yourself Reading Cards. We have Wisdom. We have Intuitive. This is all Third Eye Energy. And we have Root Chakra. Interesting. So this is what I'm getting from this lineup here. He is blocking out his third eye chakra. This is the intuitive side of himself. This here is the wisdom, his higher self, the things that he should, you know, that, that he should rely upon. I'm getting that it's being blocked by the root chakra, okay? He's way too in the material. I did see this earlier here. That's what he's choosing to do. He's choosing to go in that direction, the direction of that's going to make me happy is concentrating on the physical concentrating on the material that's where it's at for me that's what's going to give me that wholeness so i'm just getting that because of that this experience this connection to his higher self is suffering so that's where he is blocked at this present time we have sadness this is definitely blocked are all these cards reversed yeah they are so i'm not even going to read those reversed okay so yes, yeah, sadness. So there's some kind of sadness, some some kind of sadness that blocks him, some kind of regret. We have pay attention to the signs. I'm just getting that he's not paying attention to the signs. He may not, he may just be getting certain nudges and things like that. But again, how can he pay attention to these signs when it's being blocked out at this present time? He can't see them. So he's either not getting them or he's not paying attention to them when they do come up. And we have temptation. To me, this is kind of like the devil card. It's like we're being tempted from things that are distracting us off of our path. Again, this could be this just this energy where it's just like, it's just things that aren't going to serve us, but we may be tempted to do stupid shit, you know, whatever that may be. Enter into meaningless relationships, enter into, you know, maybe too much partying or, or well, partying or whatever the hell the situation is. But what I'm just getting here is that what's being blocked for him is just ego, um, what he's doing in the material world, how he feels about himself at this present time, and just this general feeling of just not feeling content, just really not feeling content, you know, just, to, just not feeling great. I'm just going to go back to some of these. Yeah, I just wanted to see if there was any correlation with these. But as a whole, I just, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm just seeing that he is putting a lot of, a lot of his focus, which doesn't have to be negative, but it's blocking him from trusting his higher self. That's what's happening there. And his sadness and, you know, just, yeah, that sadness that he's feeling and this temptation that he may be tempted to fill up that gap or that emptiness with things that are just not that great for him. And, you know, as far as signs that are coming through, he can't pay attention to those signs because he's not trusting his higher self. So he may be getting signs and just kind of pushing it off to the side like, yeah, right. You know, because sometimes when the star card is reversed, we're also not paying attention to the signs. We're getting spiritual confirmation. We're getting spiritual guidance, but we're closed off to it. So that to me, the star coming up two different times in this reading really does tell me that the divine masculine may just not feel very guided at this present time. So where is he at spiritually? Spiritually, where is the divine masculine at? What is he currently um, working on? What's he currently working on or what's challenging him at this present time? This is the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which has changed. What I'm getting here is that he's going with the flow. He's realizing that things, it's like there's this train that he wants to hop on and he wants to move forward. So this could be that material train. He feels like his time is now. We do have the Four of Wands energy participation. But this is Four of Wands energy really is about foundation. I think it's interesting in this card because we have blue, we have uh, the green, the red, and the yellow. So to me, we've got solar plexus. We've got um, either sacral. I think it's probably sacral chakra there. We have the heart chakra and the throat chakra. So to me, it's like about kind of like that balance and participating in all of those different experiences and we see that that's reversed and so it could be that he is really needing to learn some kind of a lesson here when it comes to balancing out all those energies so that way he can participate 
in that four of wands energy which is happy family foundations possibly marriage things like that i'm just getting that that might not be the direction that he's concentrated on at this present time and we have aloneness this is a spiritual journey this is the hermit but it's in reverse which means that we're blocking it out so again there's a lot of focus on the material and growth in that area but not a lot of focus when it comes to being alone and just kind of like doing our inner work is what i'm getting here so and we have the seven of cups now in this deck it says projection seven of cups really is about having a lot of choices and being a little confused and wishy-washy a little too much water in our makeup that sort of thing not being logical enough to make a, a decision it could be about fantasy or unrealistic expectations but in this deck it says projections and i think it's really interesting because what i'm getting from this is that the divine masculine may be projecting a lot of fears or projecting a lot of his own issues onto other situations or other people and so spiritually this is like spirit's way of trying to get this under control trying to get him to see himself trying to get him to see who he is possibly in the form of another person slash twin flame because to me sometimes the twin flame your divine counterpart can without realizing what they're doing can really do a number um really project some nasty shit onto you that they are just that's unresolved within themselves and so it's like that darkness and that ugliness that they are having a hard time they're having a hard time accepting it within themselves they'll dirty you up and then they'll walk away i mean you know this is something that i hear about all the time so there could be a little bit of this that he is having to learn the lessons of who he is and who he is projecting into the world and why he is projecting this image what he's comfortable with what he's not comfortable with his shadow self all those things that's just what i'm getting with this card here so again it's about taking the time to go within to really learn the lesson this may be something that's a struggle for him at this present time and this might be what one of the reasons why he's not able to participate in a in a um, connection we have him as the page of fire energy this is very playful this is uh, about somebody who is possibly a creative person somebody that is really just very casual at this present time so that's the energy that they want to be in they want to be in this very playful energy they don't want to get too serious they don't want to have anything too heavy they just kind of want to go with the flow they want to go towards destiny and success they don't really want to participate in anything that's too major too heavy they don't really want to do a lot of deep spiritual stuff right now even though we did get that five or that six of pentacles early on that said that you know there was some spiritual prosperity who knows maybe that's for some of them and not for others but i'm just getting that somebody is really working out these these aspects of themselves but they just kind of want to be in this page of fire energy yeah we have two of cups here but in this deck here to me it's not necessarily love this is just about friendliness which is why that card says friendliness it is about making connections but it's more on a casual level it's not really a connection that's based on deep deep commitment so i'm just getting that you know this is about coming together with other people possibly in in some sort of creative way and collaborating with them and creating something so that could be where the divine masculine is at and he's doing this because it's really going to help him spiritually understand something about himself so i'm getting that through certain people that he aligns himself with whether it's through work or projects or whatever the situation is or whoever he's drawn to i'm getting that he's going to learn something about himself so spiritually he may be blocking some things out or, or really hesitating um taking in these these experiences but i'm getting that ultimately it's like spirit is leading him towards having to deal with it interesting okay so let's go ahead now and take a look at some of the divine masculine strengths at this present time where is the divine masculine strong We have put others first. So this is my masculine, regardless of whether or not he wants to be in an actual relationship with, you know, with you as in a deep commitment or just, you know, we did see the friendliness card though, put others first as in, maybe this is a strength within him. Maybe this is something where he is able to do this. 
in some instances this could be that this is something that you see about your divine masculine especially if he's in a situation that he's having a hard time releasing himself from he's trying to put the happiness of other people first or he's trying to really make sure that everybody is happy before he disconnects from that situation so this could be a real strength for him um but some of you may not view it that way some of you may just think he needs to just leave that situation but i'm getting that this is more of a strength for him is that he may care more than you realize for others he may want to put others first he may be kind and considerate and again some of you may just think that's such bullshit but maybe that's something that he hasn't displayed to you but this is something that he displays to other people okay so we have stop so this is about warnings this is about stop you know so what I'm getting from this, one of the divine masculine strengths is that he knows when something is not like he, he, he knows when it's a no go. This is like that warning card. Now, this is just to me, what I'm getting is like this is a survival technique, though. It is a strength, but it can be if it's overdone or overused, it can um, dis we can just disassociate ourselves from connections and other people but I'm just getting that this is a strength for this person as they know when to stop they could be very disciplined in certain ways as well and we have clear the fog so this right here one of the divine masculine strengths at, or strengths at this present time is clearing the fog this could be somebody who is really good at either communicating or clearing the bullshit in a situation now when it comes to his, his divine feminine that's a different story maybe this there's something that he has done that he's just kind of like oh i just don't I, I don't i don't know if i can handle the rejection or i don't know if i can handle this but what i'm getting here is that the divine masculine in general as in he's putting others first and he's really paying attention to his gut instincts which are a little bit different to me than intuition um the clear the fog he may be a clear communicator clearing up things he may be a good mediator with other people that sort of thing so i'm not sure if those messages met, resonate with some of you so i'm going to pull two more connect with your soul family and take no offense so this could be a divine masculine that really doesn't get offended maybe there's just maybe he's just seems a little bit cold and calculating and maybe doesn't seem to have a lot of feeling um but what i'm getting here is that he's <coughs> that he's learned to not take things so offensively so it could feel like to you that he just doesn't have anything going on inside but i'm getting that he does it's just a strength of his connect with your soul family what i'm getting here is one of his strengths is his family so this could not be for everyone but for some of them they're really connected to their family and this is where they gain a lot of their strength is through their family now it doesn't always have to be actual family this could be a soul family as in friends or co-workers i'm just getting a tight knit a tight close-knit group of people around the divine masculine that give him strength that's what i'm getting so okay let's go ahead and take a look at the <clears throat> at the current energies of the connection between you and your divine masculine where are things at in your soul contract who's doing what who's not doing what what's happening here This is the dreams of Gaia Tarot. Oh, and I forgot to say that the cards that I just used were The Answer is Simple by Sonia Choquet. Or Choquet. No, fuck, I don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the Queen of Fire in reversed. And we have the king of air. So this could be um, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini person, um, male or masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be. And we'd be talking about a feminine energy of fire, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, if that happens to resonate. But the queen of fire is in reversed, as in the king of air is upright. Now, the thing that I did just say about this divine masculine that we're channeling here is that he's a clear communicator. He's somebody who is either not afraid to say something or clear the air. Now, he could be different with you. Okay, so I, like I said, he may not be acting that way towards you, but what I'm getting in general is that he is really handling himself quite well when it comes to communication at this present time. So this is a strength. This is also about somebody that's becoming very aware of something. They're learning something. Now that queen of fire in the reverse position just means that she may not feel very uh, passionate at this present time. So the feminine may feel a little depleted in her energy, maybe not feeling very driven as far as where she's going or her passions and what she's doing at this present time. We have choices. 
So choices need to be made, but people are not making these choices. So this is delaying this partnership. We have the eight of uh, wands here. This is about forward movement and communication. So what I'm getting here where the current state of the contract is, is that once a choice is made, people can come into contact and move forward in a positive way. But we do have the crone. What's interesting is that this is the divine feminine that's holding this energy up. She may be watching this right now and going, no fucking way. It's totally the divine masculine. He's the one that's doing the shit. But what I'm getting here from um, spirit is that the crone in reverse, which is the highest level of divine feminine is reversed and she's reversed here there's a reason for it so what i'm getting is that you must shift your energy you must shift your energy and get back into your passions get back into your spiritual connection with yourself and the divine and so that might be what you're lacking at this present time and because of this you're not you're you're blocking this this flow is what i'm getting here okay so the choice may be that you need to make a choice you need to make a choice to um you know try to move forward in a positive way yeah, because guess what's happening right here? Some of you might just feel like your divine masculine is holding all the power and holding all the cards to the situation. He's doing just fine while you're in the background, just just miserable. So this is something that cannot continue. This right here, nobody holds the key to your happiness is what Spirit's telling me right now. No one holds the key to it, not even your divine masculine. You're the only one that holds the key to your happiness. So that's telling you you've got to build your own fire. It's not from your divine masculine. He's not giving it to you. Yeah, he adds to it, but he doesn't create it for you. You create it. So the choice is yours in order to move forward in a positive direction. Get this thing flowing and take that crone and turn her upright. So that way you do not have to be this victim that you might be feeling like at this present time. So that's where things are currently at with it, this connection. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some fortune cards. This is the Madame Medora's fortune telling cards. We have the Maiden, which is a new relationship blossoms. We have Beware Who You Trust. And we have Strength and Wisdom. So... I'm getting this is for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. There is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It could be in the form of a new relationship that is either coming to the divine feminine or masculine. So it is like that beware who you trust all is not what it seems. But we have strength and wisdom. So what I'm getting from this, this is what spirits tell me right now. Don't worry about it. Okay, some of you may be so focused on a karmic partner or somebody that's coming into your divine masculine's life. And they're telling you, yes, it's probably a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person is probably not the best fit for your divine masculine. Or maybe you, perhaps. But you have enough strength and wisdom, and so does your divine masculine, to get it figured out. You pointing it out to him, or you concentrating on it, or you you know, getting upset about it, or whatever the situation is, isn't going to... It's not going to eliminate a lesson that perhaps needs to be learned. But what I'm getting here, have a little bit more faith and trust in your divine masculine. He's got the strength and wisdom to get it figured out. You don't have to worry so much is what I'm getting here. So I'm getting that this is more for the divine masculine than, than the divine feminine. But if the divine feminine is kind of thinking about somebody new, bringing in a new person, or she's perhaps going in another direction, I'm not saying that's the wrong thing to do, but there could be somebody like, they're telling you to be careful. Be careful. You do have the strength and the wisdom in order to see this bullshit. You don't, this new relationship isn't going to blossom in the way that you think it will. So for some of you, you may just be thinking about moving forward and this is telling you it might not be the right time. That's what I'm getting from this. So two messages there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some information in regards to the future of our connection with our Divine Masculine. This is the Fairy Tarot Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. What are the energies of the future? I love that Six of Summer card, let me tell you. I love the world, and these two cards wanted to come out, so I'm taking them. Ooh, okay, there could be something about summer specifically, and the reason that I say that is because it's the only, the only cards that came out that indicate a season. So that tells me something. Okay, this right here is the Energy Oracle cards, and I don't read them reverse, so 
Just letting you guys know. I just want to get one card. Appreciation. Beautiful. To me, that's like the nine of discs energy, which is we're just enjoying ourselves. We're enjoying our environment. We're enjoying what we've created around ourselves. This right here is the, oh my gosh, it's from Colette Baron reed I just can't think of the name. I'm so sorry. Can't, I just can't do it. Coming to life. Beautiful. Huh. I love it. Okay, so future energies for this connection. It's amazing. I'm going to tell you that right now. The only card that is in the reverse position is strength. This right here is, and it's a number 11 too. Not all strength cards, you guys, are numbers, number 11s. In some uh, decks, the number 8 is strength card, and the number 11 is justice, and sometimes it's vice versa. I don't know why that is. But anyways, the strength card, we're going to read it. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. This is the thing. This is a struggle. Okay? So you're still struggling this. And I'm getting that both people are still struggling. I'm getting that the divine masculine may be still trying or still struggling with finding his inner strength. Needing or that's needed to overcome challenges. The divine feminine may also have some issues being kind and forgiving towards the divine masculine. So guess what? It takes this card and it reverses it as in it's it, it's in hold it's um, I mean in, it's in suspension so until we can get right with that until we can find our inner strength and the courage to forgive one one you know somebody and move forward we have the six of summer which is people returning and coming back together and reuniting from the past it's beautiful it says children or childhood the return of people or romances from your past beautiful and then the world, you know, I love this kind of a lineup. We have 21, which is the end of the major arcana. And then we have the dreamer, which is zero. The end and the beginning right after each other. It's freaking amazing. We have a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete, a journey that is now complete. That is amazing to me. And we have the queen of summer. So the queen of summer, this could be a water sign feminine energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this could be your divine masculine. Either way, but it doesn't have to be. Queen of Summer, loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart, your intuitive insights that you can trust. It's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And then we have the Dreamer, which says, you embrace your true purpose, you begin a new adventure, and you trust yourself. So we do have the Queen of Summer here. She is she is getting on board with something and then we have this reconnection of the past a new beginning or the, the closing of a chapter and a new beginning moving forward starting fresh people are now appreciating they're feeling good within themselves they're also feeling good within this connection is what i'm getting here one plus five is six six is harmony that's the lover's energy that's also the six of summer so to me i feel like that is what it is we truly appreciate our partner and everything whether it's a challenge or it's a positive we appreciate everything that they have brought to our lives and now guess what this relationship can now come back to life it is coming to life nine plus two that's an eleven it's freaking amazing. I, the synchronicities are ridiculous. So to me, this is really, really positive for the future of this connection. So I know it was challenging. I know that this divine masculine was super closed off and it just seemed like there might not be a lot of hope. But I'm just getting that this is not supposed to, to last forever and be in this stuck state. Things are supposed to progress. So let's just see. If there's any energy in regards to the timing at, at this present time i do have some no cards here so if a no card comes up that just means that spirit's telling us not at this time it says remain positive about this outcome and it says in the near future we just got our answer so i mean in the near future that could be the summer you guys there could be something that's positively shifting in the summer for this connection that's really really beautiful so let's go ahead now and take a look at some messages from your Divine Masculine's higher self to you at this present time. Just something sweet to leave you with. Something for you to snack on until he returns.
We have consider your foundation. Love endures. And miracles and blessings. What did I just say? Something about, it says everything has a gift. There's definitely something where we appreciate even the negatives. We appreciate the challenges that our divine masculine has brought up in us. We appreciate it. That's the thing. Everything has a gift. We start to see the miracle of blessings in this, okay? It's beautiful. So what he's telling you here from his higher self is that believe in miracles, okay? And believe in the blessings of all of these lessons that we have provided for one another. That's what he's telling you. Now remember, his higher self is not who he is in the 3D right now. So you might be thinking to yourself, my divine masculine would never say that. Well, this is because it's from his higher self. He's already evolved. He's not dealing with his ego, okay? We have the Love Endures card, which says, Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. That's it. The love that you have for your divine masculine is going to endure the situation. The love that he also has for you will help him to become stronger and move towards this connection. So love endures. We have consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. How committed are you to this connection? He said, it's like he's saying to you, we made the contract before we got here. I understand that this has just been a bunch of, you know, shit. I know that I'm putting you through the ringer or whatever's happening right now is just like almost impossible to deal with. I get it. And I'm not even saying that you have to deal with it. But the thing is, we decided that we were going to choose this experience of unconditional love. So we're going to choose love. How committed are you to you to choosing love and letting this love that's going to endure so that way we can you know, experience these miracles and experiencing these blessings that came with this whole freaking experience. So that that's just the message there from his higher self. You guys made this commitment before you got here. And for some of you, I mean, we all have free will. No one is trapped here, okay? But he's just saying, how committed are you to what we created? Are you going to hold out, wait for these miracles and blessings? Or are you just... Are you going to hate me forever and just say, fuck you? You know, the choice is yours is what I'm getting there. Okay, so we're going to finish this reading off with some messages from the universe. These right here are the um, Art Through the Star Stream Oracle cards and Eyes of the Soul Oracle. I don't know why these... I don't know why I can, I love these cards. They are my favorite Oracle deck now, but I can't ever remember the, uh, one of the names. See, I have two different decks here. We have weave your own destiny. Again, this came up earlier for the divine feminine. You know what? She might not be real concentrated on her own spirituality and her own growth at this present time. She's got to get her fire back. I got that she was someone who was blocking this connection. I know it's, yes, of course, the Divine Masculine. The things that are going on, he is blocking this connection. We saw it this entire reading. But the Divine Feminine might think she's not doing anything to block this either. And I'm getting that that's not true. You've got to weave your own destiny for a little bit of time. Seeing even if your heart is breaking, this is about, yes, of course you feel heartbroken. You're not with your divine masculine, but guess what? You need to keep that vibration high. And a way to do that is to just sing. You could sing affirmations, work out, you know, involve yourself in your passions, which is why we have all that red there. Tie yourself to the physical as in, like I just said, in your body, work out, get grounded. This is all like root to me. Um, so yes, it is about just shifting your vibration, even if you're even if your heart's breaking, prepare for a major event. So that's the thing. We did have something about in the near future and summer. Prepare for a major event because it's coming. Something major is coming. A major shift is coming. And take a stand because this is the thing. This major event may cause you to take a stand and be firm in something. Be firm and convicted in something. Interesting. But it might be that somebody else takes a stand in their in their power and in their situation and, and just in general and takes a stand and finally comes towards us. Deep memories are stirring. So this is telling you here 
that people remember. People have not forgotten you. Your twin flame has not forgotten you. So if you're watching this and you're wondering if your divine if your divine masculine ever thinks about you, this card confirms that they do. It may not lead them to the same kinds of, you know, to do something at this present time, but they do think of you. And we have don't be a victim. You're not a victim in this situation. No one's a victim here. It's a choice. It's a choice is what that is. And visualize healing. That's going to be the last message. Actually, no, it's not because I'm going to go into some angel messages. I didn't do those yet. And then we're going to close up visualize healing that's the thing so if you're not seeing this in front of you at this present time you're not seeing your divine masculine come towards you in the 3d world you're not hearing from him all this stuff you got to just visualize this healing that's where you're going to have your biggest healing is through your visualizations and through your meditations visualize it if you can't see it angel of manifestation your efforts determination and perseverance will pay off so that's the thing how committed are you to this journey? How committed are you to your own healing? You're going to manifest. So the angel of manifestation is with you telling you that your, your, your efforts, are, it's going to pay off. We have angel of guidance that says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. You know, I really feel like this is connected to her and I feel like it's connected to the queen of fire that was came up earlier. We have all of this red fiery energy. This is about being guided towards your passion, being guided towards some sort of rebirthing within yourself. You're going to have a new sense of direction and purpose. This is soon going to manifest. You're going to be concentrating on weaving your own destiny for a change for some of you. That's if some of you have been feeling like you're really concentrated on this connection and not enough concentration concentration on yourself and then look what you get goddess of awakening there this is a wondrous time of exploration romance and creativity hey so for some of you romance that just could be the prediction that your divine masculine once you put energy into your own creativity into your own self-exploration that romance is going to come like you are wanting it to so that's just really cool so I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I know it was a longer one, um, but I hope that you found it helpful. So if you didn't resonate with the messages, no big deal. Just trash the reading. And if you did, awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, everyone, for being so supportive. All of your kind words always. I do appreciate it, even though I don't say that a lot. I really do. So thank you again, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.